Hello, hello. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, somebody, <clears throat> somebody forgot that uh, with all the brouhaha around Twitch that um, not only did I reset a password, but they cycled everybody's stream key. So, uh, oops. Sorry about that. Big part of why I'm a little late. Last time, <laughs> we, we, we worked on a very complicated, very uh, mind-bending setup. Uh, trying to get a, a carpet duplicator to feed four Ferni and have it set up so that way if any one of those gets turned off, the carpet duplicator turns back on. But once all four of the hoppers are full, it'll turn that back off. And uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, none of this works. That, that was just one of the many iterations that I tried afterwards, remembering that I can move some comparators forward a little bit if I put a block between the hopper and the comparator, and, and uh, madness ensued, and this is not the subject of today's... <laughs> this is not the subject of today's madness. I will go back to that later if there's time at the end of today. But what I am going to do is put some of those away, put some of those away. And I don't think I'll need any torches, which means I will probably end up needing some torches. <laughs> because my life. Uh, I... No, I won't need sticky pistons. I'll need regular pistons. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of observers. Um, what am I doing, you ask? <laughs> I'll get to that in just a minute. As soon as I figure out... If I were me, where would I put the pistons? Sure, we can put them there. Except... I'm probably going to need more of the regular than the sticky. Uh, I need to put the glass away for the moment. I think I need to put the sticks away for the moment. I know I'm going to need iron. I know I'm going to need a lot more redstone dust than that. This is one of this is one of the things I was a little bit worried about. I meant to. I had intended to. Um, AFK for a bit over by the cobble generator and do a little resource gathering to um, to to get more redstone dust because I know I'm gonna need <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna need a lot I'm gonna need a lot I'm gonna need a stack of nether quartz because I, I'm not sure how many observers I need other than a lot. Hello, beach duck. Uh, so I'm about to prepare probably more, probably, potentially, more observers than I technically need. Uh, not like they're not going to get... Oh no, the the observers, they're going to go to waste, said no one ever. Uh, <clears throat> so let's just get a stack of them bad boys going right there. Uh, I'm going to need a farming implement. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter which one because I'm not, I'm not going to, the fortune or the mending, or the fortune or the silk isn't going to make a difference on this one. Um... I am going to need. I do not have a beach on my island yet. That's going to be whenever I get to the decorative part up there. Um, I, I plan on setting up a, a nice little beach, you know, pond area over where the mob farm is. That way biome changes don't... Uh, 
<laughs> don't cause things to spawn up there that Reyest wouldn't want wandering off into her uh, into her island. <laughs> I, I I try to be kind to my neighbors, ish. Uh, I should probably also nap. I also have a nap in a cup. Isn't that how that works? Hi, guys. Oh, I forgot to send you off to go fetch me something. All right. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, I know. Um, yes, I have a box of rockets. I, I, I deeply, deeply hope, although I suspect I shall not achieve, but I deeply, deeply hope to get uh, to where I can get the end frame portals and go to the end and get a set of wings. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm planning on it because I really, really want to get to the end. All right. Uh, I'm going to need I don't know if that's enough iron or not. I mean, it's not like I got to worry about running short of iron. That's not the problem. Uh, so we got iron, we got some slime blocks, I need, I need a brain, um, oh, I'm gonna need some dirt, and melon and pumpkin seeds. How many melon and pumpkin seeds? Well, that is, that is the big question, because I want to make a melon pumpkin farm. I'll start with 32 of each. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Maybe. I mean, that, that might be more than I need, but, and that's different how. Oh, wait a second. I might not have enough dirt to do that. Because that means I'm going to need... Let's rake in that sand. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that the amount goes up the more you, the ra more rapidly you uh, put that together. Yay, six more sandstone. <laughs> That's six sandstone closer to three end portal frames. Oh, it, it's it still it still hurts the requirements for that one. Uh, first, let me grab some dirt from the sugar farm. Uh, and I might actually move the sugar farm once once I get the melon pumpkin farm done, depending on how much space it takes up. Because the whole Part of the reason why I did this over the cactus farm was because I wanted I wanted to make use of the space over here. Uh, now that I think about it, I could I could build the melon pumpkin farm over there, but then everything's going into one barrel one box of storage, and I can't be having that. I I'm gonna need a little more storage than that. So my thought is, once I get the melon pumpkin farm done, I might build either a second sugarcane farm or just do tear this one down and build a bigger one over there and then build a second layer of this cactus farm that way I can start getting more cactus faster um, I never did figure out a better better clock than this and uh, I, I think better is going to actually be what I really wanted to do the first time, but I didn't have enough iron for the pistons for. And that problem is now solved. Uh, did I leave any? Okay, good. Just checking. So I am going to need a stack and a half per because I need, I'm going to need three dirt 
for each seed. So that's going to be three half stacks, which would be a stack and a half. Another stack and a half, so that's two, three, three stacks of dirt. Do I even have three stacks of dirt? No. I've got a stack and a quarter-ish. <laughs> Alright. Time to scale down our size. We're going to go with ten plants each. Uh... And I'll just make it so that way I can build up a little bit more <laughs> each way. <laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to go with 10 each for now. Uh... <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that. That, that is slightly frustrating I, I will I must say um, all right uh, I'm going to need some water buckets I'm probably gonna need some stairs what, what, what are the cheapest stairs I have cobble <laughs> yeah let's let's grab a little bit of cobble uh, I guess that technically means I didn't need a stack and a bit of, <laughs> of observers because I just need one for each. So that means I'm just going to need 20 observers. Oh, like the other 50 observers are going to go to waste or something. I'll put them to good use before long. <laughs> that means I'm also going... No, I'm going to need 20, 40... I'm going to need 40 pistons. Uh, so that means I'm going to need 40 redstone dust. I'm going to need 40 40 40 planks. I got the iron, the redstone dust, and I'm going to need to grab a smidge more cobble. Because we need 40 of these guys. I'll hang on to the logs just in case. I'll need... Where did I put my... I put my stone cutter somewhere. You know, that's a stupid place for a stone cutter. It made sense when I put it there. I promise. Okay. It probably didn't, but... I need 40 cobblestone stairs. Uh... Honestly, I need like 40 buckets of water, but I, I, uh, I'll, I'll shuffle, <laughs> I'll shuffle back and forth on that one. Uh, I need to put the sandstone away before something bad happens, which reminds me. So, for that sandstone challenge, I've got, how many stacks was 512? 64 is a stack. Uh, 128 is two stacks. 256 is four stacks. So that's going to be eight stacks of sandstone. 64 chiseled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you begin to see the problem. I think it's time to turbocharge the cactus farm. <laughs> And maybe, hopefully, another wandering Yahoo will spawn down here and I can get more resources that way too. That would be kind of nice. I mean, it could happen. Um, do I have actual wool? No. 
do I want to use my very limited string? Not particularly. I just need something to put the redstone on that is clearly, <laughs> clearly a please don't break this kind of block. Um, and I usually use wool for that, but I usually have a wool farm by now because I usually have sheep by now. I mean, I, I I thought about quietly doing this and retexturing the chickens. Uh, those guys retexturing the t the chickens with the duck skin, but I didn't want to do that until I could replace the chicken noises with duck noises, or even better yet, uh, uh, borrow one of Jubba's squeaky toys to record the squeaky sound, so it's like a, a squeaky duck. Um. Oh, I need some ice. Well, that's going to be a problem. Uh, <laughs> I need ice. Well, I guess while I get the ice, I should probably grab my fishing rod. Because that, that is the other thing. I really want to get the deep sea fishing achievement. Although I don't know how many how many ice I need. Hmm. All right, is that my silk touch? That is my silk touch. Okay. Let me grab... I mean, of course, I'm going to go fishing with my inventory full of stuff. Let's uh, tidy up that a little bit. Let's go fish for a bit and figure out life. But first, I'm going to go change island biome, current radius chunk, change that to taiga. And that means eventually that water will start freezing and I can start harvesting up some ice. I really wish there was somebody that sold ice. I wish there was somebody other than the wandering trader that sold ice. In the meantime... Uh, coffee and fishing isn't as good as Corona and fishing, but you make do with what you got. And to think, Arcades will sit here and spend hours doing this. Oh, too soon. Oh, what, you're fishing right now? You're killing me, Smalls. Yay! Ish. I mean, on the one hand, having the rain increases the quality of drops, and I think the frequency, too. Hmm. Uh, on the other hand... It um, makes it a little bit harder to see. I'm also getting more ice, which is nice. That that was that was the goal. That was what I wanted. I need 
I need some packed ice. I just have no idea how much packed ice. That's because I, I kind of, I have this farm design mostly, mostly put together in my head. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to need four hoppers. I don't particularly want to use that many hoppers, but I want to, I want to put more than a double chest worth of storage on the melon pumpkin farm. Now I, I've, who wants a lily pad? Uh, no, I can't talk to the trader that always spawns at your place and never mind. Um, hello? No? Something? Update? Ah! What? <laughs> that was special. I swear if this bat doesn't get out of the way, I am, I'm about to go set up a special fire sword with his name on it. Come here. I got a hatchet with your name on it. Can you turn the bat into bait? Oh, oh, yes. High quality loot. Like leather. Now, the biggest problem is, is I need tropical fish. I think I have the minimum of everything but tropical fish. And either way, this isn't really helping, except as something to bide my time while I wait for the ice to form. Uh, and you get mad about me for stuff like that. I'll remember that. Ooh, okay. I, I don't I don't mind the tripwire hooks. Those could come in handy. I'm not sure what farm I'll need him in, but I'm pretty sure that could come in handy. Maybe I'll start setting up traps on the walkways to my island. It won't actually do anything to anybody, but just to give the jump scare. The salmon is kind of nice. Although, uh, I'm a little beyond that as a food source right now. Now, now that I finally got a, a guy in the trading hall that'll sell me uh, what I got right now. I hesitate to say it because... The <laughs> hey, I will remember. Oh, hey, finally, a tropical fish. Can I get another? No. Come on. I, I think I need three total as the minimum for the challenge, and I've got two, counting the one I just picked up. Did I? Yeah, I just fished up a fishing rod. Huh. Although... All right, there is there is there luck of the sea three or a lure four? I can't remember how far up does lure go and how far up does luck of the sea go. So if I can increase those, that that could also be very helpful. Oh, four serious. Is it three and three? Okay. Then that means I've already got top on one of the... Uh, yeah, I got top on lure. I just need one more luck of the sea. Uh, maybe I can take that, that 
junk fishing rod I just picked up and try to try to get another luck of the C2 on uh No, I think I got an idiot that that sells me one now. I'll have to check on that in a minute. Come on. Ah, I, can, I actually have enough uh, puffer fish. Well, let me rephrase that. I have the bare minimum puffer fish. Although I guess I, I you know, I, I, I guess I could use some more puffer fish for, uh, uh, no bother. The, um, water breathing potions. Crikey. My brain. It disappeared. I know. This is the exciting Minecraft content you logged in for. Watching Ice Form. I, I do need to, uh, I do need to find a, oh, come on. I do need to find a location and get a proper, a proper ice tray set up. Uh, I mean, I guess technically it's better than grass growing. Although the grass growing I can let happen in the background. I kind of need the ice right now. Do yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of dirt for a gr uh, for a flower farm. Uh, that's not gonna happen. I mean, I don't have enough dirt to do what I need to do with the <laughs> with with the melon pumpkin farm. Watch. Just as soon as I get done farming up the ice I need, a wandering trader is going to appear selling packed ice. I was hoping one of them was going to pop up sooner, but no. Apparently not. It's okay. Yeah, or blue ice. I mean, look, I'm not going to say no to blue ice because that, that would actually be a little bit better. But it's not so much better that I'm going to go out of my way to farm that. Um, <coughs> so for the, those that don't understand what the big deal is, ice uh, s items will slide across the ice. The problem is, is that regular ice will melt if uh, exposed to enough light and or other conditions causing a water source block to appear. Packed ice, which takes up nine regular ice, will not melt under the light and will move the items even faster. Blue ice is nine packed ice. Uh, oh. <laughs> I need to clear out a little bit of my inventory, apparently. I was not expecting... Uh, 
I was not expecting to fish up more randomness. Alright, what do I want more? The bottle of water or something that's in my inventory? Uh... do that for the moment. There we go. Problem solved. Um, so blue ice is nine packed ice and it moves items even faster. So like I use the, the ice blocks for the, the carpet duplicator over in the furnace array there to let the carpet slide towards the the furnace array faster um, I would basically need to do the same I need to do the same thing for this upcoming farm um, but I would be I would need <laughs> an order of magnitude more ice because it's taking nine of these guys to make one of these and it takes nine of these guys to make a blue ice or you find a wandering trader who just so happens to be selling it their inventory selection is random so you have no guarantee that the guy that's walking up is going to sell ice and you still have to wait for him to actually show up and normally Anytime I go to start working on a project like this, a wandering trader shows up out of nowhere to get in the way. But, given that right about now, I could use a wandering trader. I can't... They're, they're not here. They got that big old platform over there. They got that big old platform up there. And they won't show up on either one. Because of course not. Um, I'm still also waiting for one of them to, to pop up in the mob farm or somewhere like that. And... Ooh. Of course. Come on. I can't be affording to uh, to miss any ice. <laughs> oh, this takes too long. I mean, honestly, the thing to do... No, actually, I couldn't. Never mind. Well, no. I, okay. I was going to say the thing to do would be to AFK here until all of this formed into ice. Uh, but I would be worried about slime spawning because this is technically a slime chunk. Uh, but I think this platform is just small enough that they wouldn't, they, they, that they wouldn't spawn in here with me. I'd probably put all my good equipment away before I tested that, uh, assumption. Yeah, say, safely, safely stow everything away somewhere in a box right here. Just in case it turned out to uh, to be otherwise. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm gonna get seven packed ice, maybe. Because I think that's about what I'm gonna need. Uh. Although, since I only have half the dirt I thought I was going to have, I might be able to get away with less. Uh, you know what? Nope, that's the wrong button. Let's go ahead and change the current chunk back to ocean. Oops. I... Ow. Of course I did. Nah. I didn't want the lily pad anyway. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't. 
let's uh let's grabs uh three lapis lazuli. Any can I can I get another um look at the C2? Lure three I've already got lure three. Yeah, let's give it a try. Unbreaking and lure. All right, that was a little bit of a bust. All right, let's put our partially enchanted fishing rod there. Let's get our full one there. Let's pack up that last bit of ice and put a few things away. Like our raw cod, my second tropical fish. Oh, I do have more of the puffer fish than I thought I did. Uh, put that away. I mentioned that I, I deeply, deeply miss having uh, automated storage. <laughs> I might have mentioned it once or twice. Uh, okay, so he's got luck of the C2. Um, how much is your luck of the C2? 29 emeralds. I do not have 29 emeralds, good sir. I will gladly pay you Tuesday for 29 emeralds today. For a luck of the C today. I know, I just got sidetracked. Hi guys. Let's uh, uh no. Uh there we go. Hi friend. Was how many? Thirty-two. Oh, and a book. I need to go grab a book. I should probably also pull in the wheat harvest, and I I could get some more dirt from that too. It was 39, wasn't it? Oh, 29. Okay. That's right. I dipped into my uh, placeholders for uh, some earlier, <laughs> earlier stuff. I really need to spend a day doing nothing but trading with these people for some, uh, some more emeralds. All right, so if luck of the C3 is an option, I should be able to go get this and get this and get my lucky fishing rod, which will have luck of the C3, unbreaking three, lure three, and mending. And I may get a second one put together anyway, just because. No good reason. Spares are handy. Alright. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Actually, that could be what I do, is uh, go use some uh, iron blocks for my redstone. Go flex that iron farm. That's what I'll do. Let me go grab a stack or so of uh, iron blocks. I'll put my redstone components on that. For no good reason. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... There we go. Iron flex. Yep. 
<laughs> Nelton says flexing like building with iron. Oh, I needed four hoppers. And I'm going to need four double chests, so that's going to be eight, eight chests. <laughs> I have neither. Okay. So, I'm not running back there for more iron. Actually, I probably don't need the 28 that's there. Alright. Uh, that's one, two, three. Ah. Alright, so that's going to be my four double chests. One, two, three, four, five. Five more. So I can make... Sure. I feel like I miscounted something. Because I think I only needed four of those, not five. Like the other, like the extra is going to go to waste or something. Alright. So, here is what I need to do. I'm going to build it in this space here between the slime chunk and the crop farm. Uh, I want to make... Oh, that's why I wanted all that iron. Because I needed some iron bars. I need a lot of iron bars. something else, but I don't remember what. Alright, so if I put a double chest there. <laughs> a double chest there. And a hopper's gonna go in there. So I'm going to need the water stream, the dirt, the piston, the redstone. Ooh. That's going to be, that's going to be tight. Eh, let's see if we can make it work. Uh, oh, this doesn't have my overflow either. Hmm. This is already veering from what I thought I was going to do. Hmm. This is actually what I had originally intended to do, but... But I think I might try to go with it anyway. Uh, do I have a stone cutter over here? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Let me go grab a stone cutter and then I'll walk you through my original intent and what I think I'm going to do anyway. And I think I got a spare stone cutter floating around so I don't have to tear that one down. I do not have a spare stone cutter. Where did my spare stone cutter go? Fine. I really probably should just 
make a bunch more of these. Stick them everywhere I'm intending to work. I still got to do the uh, the custom resource pack for these guys. Um, it was my intent to get together a resource pack that would let us use the stone cutter for uh, wood as well as stone. So you'd be able to stick a spruce log in there and it would give you the things that you could cut down and get the same get the same efficiencies as you would a uh, a stone cutter. So you still got to have the specialty table and the resources it takes to make that, which is not insignificant when you're starting off, um, as we definitely found out this go around. When you're when you're iron poor, things like a stone cutter suddenly become like, ooh, but how bad do I really need it? I mean, I know I want it, but do I need it? So I'm going to get a water stream going over this way. And originally I was going to have um, this definitely needs to be longer. Yeah, that definitely needs to be longer. Um, oh, I timed that better than I thought, too. Actually. Let's do it like that. So, because it's a stair, I can still open up the chest. Uh... Oh, iron bars. For like the eighth time. I knew that I was going to need to make some iron bars. No idea if that's going to be enough or not. And do I have an infinite water source somewhere near here? Don't think I do. No, because those are going to flow into the middle. Um, going to have to run all the way back into, back into town. <laughs> back into town. I'm going to have to run back to my font in the center. Nice spring from which all e water eternally flows. I'm going to be making that trip a few more times here in a minute. You'll 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 see how this is intended to go, and we'll see if that's how it actually ends up going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a net of sorts. Actually, no, I don't want that one there. And I, but what I do want is to keep a similar, similar deal with those guys. So I need, uh, a few of those. I guess I can now. Uh, oh, uh, I can do some of those. And now I can do a few of those. And those. Yeah, 
because I just had the three when I was building the that. I can put just a little more texture in this one now too. So I'm going to want this to be oh. See how long it takes me before I fall to my death on this project. going to connect to the dirt. Uh, Wait. Why did it sound like glass just broke? Oh, because I broke the ice. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, what glass did I break? I didn't put anything down that was glass. All right. I I need to... match the ice out of there. I got the 48 steel bars I started with. And I need to rethink this. Just a smidge. So that way, there's a crop there. Wait, I didn't. And I really want this one longer. I really want this one further back. Hmm. Although... Dice. Although maybe the maybe the uh, or, yeah, I'm gonna need one more pack dice at some point. Uh, what do I need more of? Melons or pumpkins? Well, let me do the pumpkins now, and I'll do the melons next. So I'm just gonna keep stacking this basic idea on top of each other. Um. So, I had actually had planned to do water log stairs, like a so, behind each one to um, keep the cropland tilled. Decorate it better in a little bit. Uh, so, 
I may still yet do that. Let me, you know what? If I do that, that'll give me a water source right there that I can use for the moment. And it's easy enough to remove after the fact. So those guys are going to go there. The struggle is going to be getting here and putting that guy there. Because I want the observer watching the stem. And that way, when the stem produces a melon, it's going to trigger two pistons on either side. So there'll be that guy there, that guy there, that guy there, and that guy there. Uh, I should also get... Where's my last one? I thought I had 28. Ah. I mean, oh for shame, I lose a slime block. However, will I manage? myself with a distinct last lack of inventory space. Uh, pumpkins will not drop on cobble. It has to be dirt, coarse dirt, uh, podzel, etc, etc, etc. Before I start hooking up the redstone, let me get these stems completely grown. There we go. There's the hitbox. And then I need... Okay, so when that guy sees the stem, he should power that block, which will power that redstone and that redstone, which means whichever way it decides to go, it'll push it forward. I had originally planned on uh, trying to figure out a way to extend this out, so I had a little more delay, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that now. And basically, I'm just going to take this design and stack it upwards. Um, and then I was going to do the same thing on the other side to... Uh, To, to do the melon, to do the, um, yeah, the melons. So I'd have this right here for the pumpkins, that side there for the melons, and then stack the pumpkins on this side going that way, stack the melons on that side going this way, going into two different water streams. Um, I think I'll just do a regular, regular, uh, you know, stone wall. Actually, since this wall is going to be on the inside, ain't nobody going to see it. Oh, 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 I know what I need. I need lights. I need lights. Uh, Alright, 
So let me do this. Let me take the stylish building blocks and put them in here for now. I'll take the iron bars that I'm not going to use and put them in there for now. Um, I'll take the lumber that I don't need and put it in there for now. Since there's going to be a wall here, that means that this side is going to be like a so. Bam. Right. Like that. And like that. So we'll have melons on one side, pumpkins on the other. In the meantime, I'll take the 30 dirt for the melon seeds. Uh, and I know that I need to set aside for the melons. I'm going to need more redstone dust. That's for sure. Let me go drop the uh, the one remaining hopper back in storage so I can keep my inventory a little bit more clear. And I needed to head back this way anyway because I need lights. I forgot. These are crops. Crops need lights to grow. If I were me, I would have put the hoppers in storage. That's a bad place for them. I should find another place. Uh, later. I'll find another place later. What are... Oh, lights. Lights. Mm. I find a shocking lack of lighting. Uh, thought I had... No, that is where the shroom lights went. No, glowstone. Glowstone. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I uh, I am going to go far crazier with the lighting than I need to. And then off to figure out a, a shell to put around this thing. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just do a light bar at the level of each of these. Uh, I need the next step of the wall because I can take a step there, there. Uh, that's not gonna... Is that gonna... No, that's not gonna power the block above it. Okay. And I'm going to need... A block on either side. Actually, I think that was supposed to be cobble, but it'll be all right. I'm going to need... Oh, wait. I'm building this whole thing one block too far back. That's part of my problem. Crikey. All right, that's going there, that's going there, that's going there, that's going there, and block, and stair, and block, because a dirt is going there for landing, a dirt is going there for the crop, a dirt is going there for landing, for the crop, for the landing, for the crop, for the landing.
Yeah, I guess my biggest problem is I don't really have good overflow protection on this. Uh, I might have to sort that out later. Uh, some... Ooh. I wonder. I wonder if I can rig a way to make sure that once... It maybe, maybe pull a signal off of here. And once that is full, power each of those so that way the pistons are extended, which will mean the the um, the pumpkins won't be able to grow. Okay, one problem at a time. I can sort that madness out later. He says with the utmost confidence. Uh huh. It could happen. I mean, it's sure to work as good as the furnace. This is going to get far more interesting each time. Alright, so I need... This... Kind of zigzag. I guess my concern now is that because I've got these so tightly packed together that when one of these guys grows up here it might push the piston down there but now that I think about it I don't know that that necessarily matters let me uh let me redstone this up real quick so that is technically correct which means if I do that all right but I didn't see those guys down there go okay strip oh since I've only I meant to make this longer I really did I wasn't expecting to run quite that short of Ice. So what I'll probably do is off camera, I'll go farm more ice and then extend this back maybe, maybe enough for another two plants. Oh, give me, so two more off the back. And then I can start worrying about more up top. Although I guess in the meantime I could do another another row up at least. Yeah, I could do another row up at least. I'll put that there and that there. Dirt. 
and we know they don't need one more block above that otherwise that farm over there wouldn't be working because they they wouldn't have had uh, the space they need then does that make sense I hope that makes sense oh for serious can I reach you now good I mean, technically, I think I only need one of those waterlogged, not all three of them. But I like engineering for resiliency. That's what we're going to call it, engineering for resiliency. seeds all right that's that's actually halfway done uh well not halfway done uh, that's uh <laughs> that's about as done as I can get with uh, the resources on hand at the moment let me... I'm probably going to need to do... something about a roof and about a way up and down so I can add more. But I, I, I don't... I don't think I'm going to worry too much about adding more until later. We'll just leave that that high for now. I think I'll leave all the fancy stuff there for the moment. Uh, so that's... Five pumpkins there. That's all the melon stuff for the moment. Alright, let me go tear down the old pumpkin farm. I'll move, move everything over there. Because I don't, I don't really like having those guys there, especially as inefficient as they are. Uh, I've already got a better pumpkin farm than what's happening here anyway, so uh, I guess uh, there we go. Oh, it was good while it lasted. This also gives me some redstone components to reclaim. Uh, I'm certainly not getting any more efficient as far as the uh, <laughs> the pistons go, but I do. I do like, and I, I can also get that sign in a better location. I, 
think when I make the, uh, I, I think I'm going to move the uh, egg farm down where the other farms are just for the sake of moving it down where the other farms are. If I do that though, I am totally renaming all the chickens that are there. Silence me. So I have a silent egg farm. <laughs> These guys. These guys. There we go. Yeah, I'd like to build a more elaborate... Uh, I'm going to leave the portal where it's at. I just want to build a more elaborate in and out so that way there is a um, there is a mob trap for the zombie pigmen to, to fall into the abuse. So um, I, I just, yeah. In order to do that, I need to move these farms and I needed to make better, better producing farms. Because that, that was not cutting it. Not even a little bit. Uh, if I were me, I would have put the light there. Uh, I can also put a smooth stone away from those guys. I can put the hopper away from those guys. I can put the comparators away. The torches away. I lost my train of thought. Okay, uh, the spruce blanks can go away. Away, away. Hmm, did that give me enough for, uh, let's see. I think that gave me enough, uh, I think that gave me enough dirt reclaimed from there for one more layer. How much do I need? Probably should bring a uh, chains or ladder or something to get me back up. Because I need what? Uh, that That is one of the things that I am kind of worried about. And that's why I wanted to get a pulse extender on these guys. Uh, because apparently you do need to worry about the pumpkins not always getting pushed off into the void. Into the void. <laughs> In, into the water stream over there. Uh, it'll push them, and when they break, they'll end up falling back on that square. I don't know what to do about that yet. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, I could totally do one more layer. All right, let's do one more layer right now. Um, yeah, so I... I man, I just... I, I don't... Uh, I don't know. It's one of those things that, that I could... Um, a pulse extender would do that. But what I would need to do is I would need... To take a comparator output... Out, output... <laughs> output from the back of that guy and then extend it and then run the signal off to either side which means I'd need two more blocks out that way well no I could do that with one more block out this way now that I think about it because if I run the comparator output into a block and then have that block come back Hmm. That bears some thought. That definitely bears some thought. 
I just might be able to make that work. I, I, what, I, what I really need to do is I need to work on getting uh, one, one of those uh, CSI type overlays where you see all the math faintly over, you know, over there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I'm talking about, and you probably thought of it too. And that's why I need one more ice. Because they, they're getting they're gonna get stuck in there. The the water's not strong enough to push them over the brick. Leaving leaving stuff to uh to despawn. So let me finish up this layer, and then I will uh, go back to farming ice. Uh... Oh. Uh, I need two more observers. Because math is hard. And I forgot that I was building a full layer and not the 10 I had originally thought. I'd still like to know where that one bit of uh, slime went missing. My luck, it probably fell into the void. Because I'm probably going to end up being in the same boat when I get the melon side working. right? No. I grievously miscounted pistons, but in the right direction. How did I... Oh... Uh, okay. I see the mistake I made. I forgot that these two guys are going to share a piston, and these two guys are going to share a piston. So I thought each of these plants a piston apiece, which was wrong. All right, I need seeds, I need bone meal. Um, oh, no, I need to do this other part first. I need to get a block there, a block there, and there, and there. Yeah, I can always come back and rewire everything that's back here later. Wait. Did I do something wrong? Or is it just went? Oh, there we go. Okay. And there we go. We got us another layer. 
Let's uh, cat this part here. I wonder if I shouldn't put a um, a lid over the top of these guys. Just just uh, for now to encourage them to get pushed. I need at least one more ice there, and it was what? Well, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, six. Uh, I can put the pumpkins in there. Yeah. So six more. At least six more uh, packed ice. Seven. Because six was what I needed for six. Yeah. Um, Six is what I needed for the melons. I need one more for the pumpkins. All right. I'm going to need more blocks of iron because I went through a stack and a half over there. Ish. Alright, let me go get another uh, stack. Half stack. I'll get a half stack. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems about right. Still got to do something about where the iron's coming through on there. Technically, um, I could put one more hopper where that is, and that should give full coverage where the iron tends to accumulate. And then that means that I need to pull this out that way, which would put it uh, so I would block off this walkway. I'd have to have a block here for it to rest on. The output could then go there and then get routed back up, which would be a shorter path. It'd just be a little uglier, although it wouldn't be hard to look less ugly either. All right. So it's back to ice fishing for a smidge. And then uh, and then we'll we'll get to the melon side of that farm. I'll still need to build a building around it. But that can, uh, we can get there one step at a time. Actually, I might tear that down now. No. Let me do my ice fishing for seven more packed ice, we said. Did, uh... Leave any actual ice? Just those two. I uh, I'll <sighs> All right. Let's uh let's get to hoping for some more tropical fish while uh <laughs> while we do this. Biome change chunk taiga.
Which is going to happen first? My fish or the ice? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh of course I didn't. Yeah, only time will tell. Oh, the time will be going by. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh. Yay. Leather boots. Whose uh leather boots did I just fish out of the <laughs> fish out of the pond? <laughs> I mean, I upped the looting, right? That, that, yeah. Increased loot. Go, go, gadget. Leather boots. I mean, I guess in a way that will become more useful when the next update's out because you'll need leather boots to not fall in the powdered snow. Uh, especially if you're going to be in a taiga, because they're, or no, not taiga. That's going to be up in the mountains, isn't it? Yeah, I think the powdered snow is going to be up in the mountains. Uh, I just know that leather boots will keep you from falling in. Hey, I think, oh, oh, yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm totally putting this on pond, uh, ocean, set, chunk ocean so I can walk away without ice forming and slime spawning in my little cave there. Alright. Uh, let me just grab all those. A bunch of those. A bunch of those. A bunch of those. Because challenges. Five cod, five salmon, three Puffer fish, three tri Oh, five ink sacks. Where's five ink sacks? I know I've got those. No! <laughs> Gee. Who could have turned all their ink sacks into black dye? <sighs> Don't look at me like that. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saving leather boots. I will need to set up another uh, another way to get more more squid. Actually, I could probably just drop some water off of somewhere up there and uh, actually. I mean, technically up here shouldn't be the home anymore, but it is. Um, what do you think? Is that about... Uh, oh, that's going to wash my donkey and whatnot away, isn't it? Oh, come on. Did I seriously misjudge it that badly? I think I did. Yep, I did. I'll 
I'll go fishing with an axe. Oh, okay. They're still tied up. Oh, sweet. That's my two ink sacks. There we go. Problem solved. Because I need to go put that uh, wall back, don't I? Wow, is it really taking the water that long to uh, to flow down? There we go. Now I definitely have enough ink. Wait, are you seriously swimming up the? I'm not going to be cruel to Flipper. Yes, I'm hunting uh, Cod with a hatchet. Is the horse spooked by the dead salmon? Oh, there we go. That's the last of the water. Come here, you. Okay, there we go. I got the ink. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? fish and puffer challenges fisherman oh that gets me my kelp now too nice bam wait short one ink sack what oh because it was five not three third time. No, no, I didn't mean home. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Mm, ten blocks of lapis, too. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Job. I didn't mean to scare you. Let's get those guys put away for the moment. Um, all right, kelp can go in there for the moment. The prismarine can go in there for the moment. That's going to come in handy once I try to get a. Um, an actual whatchamacallit farm going. Alright. I need... I still need pack dice. Alright, back to the fishing. I'm just... Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that means now that I can... Now I can turn biomes into, into deep ocean. Which means I could take some of the coral that I bought and start getting other stuff. Sweet. Well, I can't remember if that's deep ocean or if I technically need um, something something else. All right, island biome chunk taiga. There we go. I 
mean, I don't know why I'm bothering with the fishing other than to occupy time. While I wait for the ice to form. <laughs> well, I guess I could be using it to get uh, XP to charge up the pick, too. If I wasn't jumping like a drunken fisherman. Nothing's going to bite if you don't cast. <laughs> There's something deeply philosophical in that. You never catch 100% of the times you don't cast. Or something. Confucius, probably. I mean, it's got to be true. I think I saw it on the internet. Somebody even had a very, very fancy style and quote poster for it, too. That makes it right, right? <laughs> Man cannot live on uncast rods alone. Yeah, all right. I like that. That could work. Yeah, I think we already got that one, though. <laughs> Feed a man a fish, he takes care of one haunch. Give a man a fishing rod, he survives. cup of coffee or not. Although I haven't finished that one yet either, so. I keep forgetting that with that light in the middle, that means that ice is not going to form in that central ring at all. So I get a fair area where ice will never form on this thing because it will always melt. Ow. Timing. Yeah, I might do that um, when I go do my AFK session. Like, I'm pretty sure that uh, once, once I'm done for the evening at some point between now and the next go round, I'm going to I'm going to remove that light and then just set up this area to um, and, and just kind of park myself in the corner while the ice forms and then collect an entire block of this at a time you know go, go AFK do something else for a little bit. Put in a good audiobook or a podcast. Uh, 
Art of Manliness had a very interesting podcast recently on insulin, insulin sensitivity and how it, um, insulin resistance being a precursor to some of the health problems an unrecognized precursor to some of the health problems going around, uh, including troubles with weight control, troubles with a wide variety of things. Uh, it's definitely, definitely food for thought. There's something I was going to mention about cord killers too, but I don't remember what it was. That short-term memory thing. I thought for sure I was going to remember it, so I didn't bother leaving myself a note. Even though I know better than to do that. Other than I know, I know, <laughs> I know better than to not leave myself a note. Yeah, you know what I meant. You're fishy, 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 fishy. Ear fishy, 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 fishy. something else that they talked about in Daily Tech News Show. But again, I, I thought I would remember. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could go down to the, go down, go over to the page and take a look at the rundown real quick, but that that's not... No, nobody wants to see me staring at a rundown sheet for somebody else's show going, ah, what was it I meant to talk about? I mean, I have a boat to fish on. I could do that. I just need to, I need the, uh, I need to make a custom item for a bottle of Corona. Like, maybe I could just retexture the golden carrots into a bottle of Corona. It's golden. <laughs> Although, I guess since it's technically golden, maybe I should turn it into a, a bottle of schnapps. That's not quite in keeping with the fishing theme, though. Although, I know some family that fishes that probably wouldn't matter whether it was schnapps or Corona or anything else. Just as long as a bottle of uh, something and uh, a fishing rod for a prop. Hey, finally get another, uh... Yeah, now I'm getting the tropical fish. Now that i finished that challenge. Although, I say that, and I wouldn't mind completing it again. I gotta double-check what the requirements are. Maybe I'll need to set up another one of those, uh, waterfalls. Except I'll set it up to dump into this. That might be what i do. Uh, I'll go waterlog uh, a tower of something. Although, I guess if I had enough bone meal, I could I could get a kelp plant to grow up. And that would give me my uh, water sources to make a, uh, a fountain that goes up. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Matter of fact, do we take our chances? 
Let's take our chances. Hang on. Let me go grab my one, one kelp. No, 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 no. I wanted that. Yeah, I was just worried about a slime forming on the uh, ice blocks there. I can put that guy there. And then start... Oh, no, no, no. I need... What? A source of water above him? How did I manage that before? Oh, that's right. I had falling water coming in from the ceiling. That's how I managed that before. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Doggone it. That's not going to work. Okay. It, when, I, when I was filling up uh, Arcadius's uh, water tank in uh, Season 1... Um... I ended up just uh, getting falling water from the top and growing large towers of kelp. And that's how I ended up filling it up with uh, water sources. So I, was too, I, I started doing it the hard way and then I realized I was doing this the hard way. And I could be doing it far, far, far more efficiently than I was. Come on. There we go. Alright, I went with five the last time, so I need two more packed ice. One more to actually have, a, at minimum, the width that I've got there, and also one more for to, to finish off what I've got. And then, uh, so I'll be back at the back of the farm here shortly. I just need enough ice for two more packed ice. Yeah, I, I do wonder. Um, Definitely have to play with the the redstone in the back there, but I, I'm beginning to I'm beginning to wonder if there's a way that I can do that and without extending much more than one for one more block out. Um, because if I can do that and extend one more block out, I might be able to get a pulse extender in which means that I can ex when the piston fires it extends out for just long enough that the the melon or pumpkin doesn't fall on the dirt block although I'm not entirely sure that that's the problem that's causing them to land on the block in the first place So what I might need to do is try to set up a small-scale test somewhere and um, and see, yeah, yeah, I'll set up a small-scale test, see if a pulse extender will keep, will keep it from actually uh, falling down on the block that I don't want it to fall down on. Um, and then... And knowing that, and then 
uh, rewire it because I'd hate to rewire that whole thing with a bunch more complicated redstone and only to find out that it didn't work. Yeah, that's definitely a small scale test and then figure it out. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try that on just the first level of the melon farm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try that on the first level of the melon farm. And then I'll know if it works and is worth continuing. Okay. Uh, so... How do I want to go about this? I think. Hmm. The redstone pulse that an observer pushes out is only one strong. So, so I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the way I've got the redstone or, or the. Um, texture pack that I have shows the the power level currently delivered. It's going to be a number between 0 and 15. So the little blip of redstone that an observer pulses when it sees a change in the block is only a power strength of 1. So that means in order to move it one further than wherever the output is. I need to put some sort of an extender anyway. Um, hmm. I could make some more target blocks. Target blocks seem to be the answer to a lot of problems. Um... Because I could do a redstone dust behind the observer going into a target block and then a redstone dust on either side of the target block going into uh, repeaters into the pistons. Maybe I need to reverse that and just have the repeater coming out of the, um, have the repeater coming out of the observer and going into a target block. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a lay it out and think about it first. Just a little more. Enough for one more packed ice. I did not intend to spend as much time fishing as I am. Seven, eight, and nine. Was just a chunk, right? Current radius chunk? Okay. Alright, that's good. Good. Alright, now that I get the deep ocean um, unlocked from that challenge, I can also spend some time um, 
I can also spend some time working on a guardian farm, which means I'll finally have sea lanterns. Like I, I would deeply have preferred to use sea lanterns in this endeavor as opposed to the um, glowstone. Although, nobody's, nobody's going to see the inside. Nobody knows but me. Which, for some very, very strange reason, doesn't matter in the least. It still irks me that, um, that it's, uh, yeah. I need to kelp farm now, too. Uh, okay. I got all the things I need. So now, water should flow out of there and push everything across. Although maybe not. It doesn't look like it's getting any, um, uh, any oomph from, uh, from being right there. Well, that's odd. All right, let's pull that up real quick. And... Let's do this. Oh, oh, that's why I forgot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that that's oh, that's me being s okay. All right, never mind. Mystery solved. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, absent my to me forgot that there is more than water water source there. That is why stuff was getting stuck. So here, everything should now be getting pushed along because there is now no longer more than one water source. Of course, of course. infinite water supply. I don't like having to try to clean all this up after the fact, but... This gonna... I'm making a bigger mess, aren't I? don't really relish uh, cleaning all that up later, but I now have infinite water a little bit closer by. All right, and so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need that fancy trim right there.
right? Yep. Because I want to leave access to that in case I decide to redstoneify it up. What do you mean, in case I decide? Uh, for when I decide to redstoneify it up. Uh, we're going to need all the stuff we left over here. For later. Um, wow, that is doing better. We've already got a stack in a bit. Although I don't, I don't remember what we started with. This might be one that I'll have to leave for later. Ooh, I need more cobblestone. I need a lot more cobblestone. And then I'll make it pretty later. In the meantime... For the short term, I'll need a fair chunk of cobblestone. Yeah. I wonder how many I'm losing because I can't... Uh there we go. Ta-da! Pumpkin Farmer Challenge completed. Which should have given me four more dirt, right? No, no. Hovering isn't going to tell me. Okay. Uh, item rewards. Four dirt. Yep. All right. So that's going to that's gonna help me get my... <laughs> that's going to help me get more dirt. On whom? I don't know. But it'll be nice. All right. Upside down stair there, right? It's pretty much going to just be a block there. That's why I had the dirt out, because I was going to need one, two, four, five, six, seven, right? Because I was going to need a building block. Because that's going to be a piston, an observer, a piston, an observer, a piston, an observer, and a piston. And I was going to waterlog that. Did I put the other sign away? No, because I haven't torn down the other, uh, the other farm. The okay. I will tear that down as soon as I get the first row of this stuff complete. This one I want to try to figure out if I can do this not only do this with a pulse extender but do it in such a way that I end up um, not losing not losing uh Product, pumpkins, stuffs. So, no matter what, an observer is going there. An observer is going there. An observer is going there. what a piston is going there and there and there and there and no matter what some blocks are going there and there to 
block this all in. So let me go get some repeaters. And some target blocks. Uh, or should I try some note blocks? For, you know, let me try some note blocks first, because I know I've got a bunch of spruce planks that I can make a bunch of note blocks from. That's not a bunch. That is not anything close to the definition of a bunch. There we go. A bunch of note blocks. <laughs> Gonna have to go spruce farming again after this. And... I may... Want some s buttons of some sort or another. Just because... I may need to mute the note blocks. I don't. I don't want them uh, banging off, and I don't. I don't know how well how this is going to stack, much less how well this is going to stack. So, for my own sanity, for the moment, or at least what passes as my own sanity for the moment, uh, let's get some more iron blocks and let's start figuring this out. I'm probably going to need a platform at least two blocks out. Because I think I'm going to want to go... Peter... Note block... Redstone, redstone. And go... Note blocks, repeaters, and dust. Let's see. Oh, I want to bump that up a little bit more, too. Well, that does extend it out a little bit more. I just don't know if that's going to produce the desired result of making sure that... Uh, that nothing lands on the dirt blocks. I also don't know if this is going to stack at all. Uh, but it does work in the sense that when this goes off, see, a change is observed. It goes into the repeater, which is on a delay, so it's going to effectively extend out the pulse a smidge into the note block. And once the note block is powered, it's actually going to power the blocks next to it, which will end up powering each of those two pistons. But it's not enough to power that block there and cause more than just the two pistons we want to get to go. And we won't really see until we start getting stuff growing. So do I want to build another layer or so on the assumption that this is going to work? Ah, why not? Because I also need to know if this will stack at all. And I'm going to need more iron blocks. Oh, for shame. I don't know if 
if I'll be able to, you know, come up with the iron for this. Oh. That's what I get for sarcasm. Alright, I need dirt. I'm going to need a lot more redstone dust. Are we going to take bets on whether or not I have enough uh, redstone dust to fi finish this? Although, that is going to be my other problem. If I extend this platform out one wider, I will run into the issue of... I ha No, not clerics, plural. I have a cleric. Uh, believe me, I wish I had clerics, plural. You have no idea how much you, you miss having a uh, an entire uh, <laughs> congregation of clerics. Is that the plural of clerics? A congregation of clerics? What is the plural for a group of Minecraft clerics? What's the collective noun? I almost want to say a congregation. A clergy. Do you have a sermon of clerics? <laughs> Ooh, a quote. Nah, I don't know. I, I've known... I've known far, far fewer clergy who can sing. Um, not that it's not that it stopped any of them. Wow. Okay, so we just turned that in, and we've already got eight pumpkins back, and that's just with the smaller showing here. So, I should probably remember to close that up while I'm thinking about it. Um, So that, that is a very, very good sign. All right, let me get the next go around. So that's going to go there. Um, I'm going to need... Okay, so I, I actually won't need the buttons. I'm going to have to put um, iron blocks on top of them anyway, which is going to effectively mute them. Good. Oh, and now i got a stack of buttons. Because <laughs> of course I do. And I'm going to need note blocks. I'm going to need repeaters, and they are on a full delay. us a little bit of a dust up. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not punny. Alright, let's, uh, how did I end up with five rand? Oh, oh, probably because I picked him up while I was standing up here. Yeah, there, another one's not going to grow in the time that it takes that, so I don't have to worry about them growing too fast or that. Uh, there's a small chance that, that the delayed piston push, the extended piston push, there's a small chance that, like, if this guy 
grew one here, it's going to extend that piston and this one. So there is a small chance that this piston could be extended when this one is trying to grow on that block, which would technically slow the farm down a smidge. Um, I do not know if that is enough to actually worry about it. It might be though. Three, six, okay. Uh, I feel like I'm short something. What am I short? No, I should have everything I need. Okay. I'm just going to do this design all the way up. We'll see how it goes. trips back and forth to the watering hole. That's right. We got this. Not like I have to do this often. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. Now imagine, because I still want to extend it out another two plants back. Two? At least one. Uh, although, to go one more plant back, that might leave the water just a little too far short. Because seven, I need, I can only bring it one more block out. Well, I guess I don't need the water to go all the way over the hopper. So I can move the water back two blocks, which would give me one more. Pl yeah, okay, okay. I can do, I can do one more plant out. So instead of three per layer, it'll be four per layer. Yeah, and then I could just keep building up. I mean, I got a fair amount of room to build up if I need to. All right, that's all three of those guys. Let me go ahead and replenish this while I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah. seeds yeah I'll get that I'll go tear down the other one and that will give me the melon seeds I need yeah because that's gonna have to go there and we're gonna get 
those guys there. Those guys there. And those guys there. And we'll get a capper on top of those. That should be it, right? You have to replenish the bone meal here in a minute, too. All right. Oh. <laughs> I've been neglecting this uh, back wall here, too. For now, let me go tear down. Let me go tear down the other the other farm. That'll get me the seeds I need to finish up, and we'll get the two equidistant. And uh, I think we'll call that a success. It's not a finished building, but it is definitely a successful one. Uh, because that will de that's already netted me more more melons than I had or yeah no more pumpkins than I had before so let's get uh let's get this one squared away now There we go. Hmm, let's not lose anything out the uh, portal there. Or out the hole. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. All right, I'll have to come back for those. <laughs> oh, the fickle inventory space. Five, six, uh, seven. one somewhere. I must have lost one down the uh, down the abyss. didn't help the inventory problem. <laughs> Alright, let's get uh let's get these guys put away. I actually don't need the glowstone because that went up the middle column to save space. I don't need the torches. some of the repeaters, but I can't remember how many. I don't need the hopper. I don't need the buttons. I don't need the jack-o'-lantern. I don't need 
with spruce planks. And now I can go grab that last box of melon slices so I can finish up this farm and have all the melons stored in the same place. Yes, okay. And then, and no, and then, and then I shall call it a night. As soon as I get that other side equal to this, Melon Farmer. There we go. All right, between the two of these, these should help me with my dirt shortage that I need for a few other things, too. Oh. This was the last. Yeah. Yeah, this should be the last layer. Right? I, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank at that part. That one's going there. And that one's going there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. fill that back up before I later because I, I I'm so close to finishing all right I don't need what do I need I need my last three observers one two and three I need the iron no I need the pistons the iron the repeaters the those guys and Oh, no, 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 that, that was a mistake. Oh. Oh, that was even more of a mistake. I thought, <laughs> I thought I'd make it down there before that went out. Oh, now I'm just making stupid mistakes. guys. Nope. I mean, I guess technically I don't need the iron blocks directly under them. I, I just, yeah. It kind of feels like why, why not? Um, 
No bother. Somebody forgot to grab the bone meal. I should probably also check the redstone to make sure I didn't wash anything else out with that very, very silly move. Uh, later. First things first, I want to go ahead and get, get a capper on this. Um, yeah, let me go grab more. Six twenty-seven. Okay, let me grab a little more bone meal so I can get the rest of that uh, grown. Too bad nobody else was able to make it today. All right. So far, so good. Okay, yeah, it, it looks like that little uh, waterworks incident didn't uh, didn't break anything else. Temporary where I want them. Uh, I know I got the biome set to mushroom, so I shouldn't technically have to worry about uh, anything untoward appearing, but. Never hurt to be more safe than you technically needed to be. I'll probably end up working on hiding that redstone, and honestly. Even though the production's likely to be different with the two of them, I might just leave the different redstone different and uh, not worry about figuring out which... No, who am I kidding? I'm going to worry about figuring out which one's the best. So I'll come back at random times and check and see uh, which one... which one's managing... Um, where's that water dripping from? Oh, because I didn't put... Uh, under the ice. And that would actually be a top. And we'll do like that. There we go.
I don't know. I'll figure the rest out later. Uh, except for that part. That's not bad. All right, so that's 21 melons in, the, in a very, very short time. I still got all those decorative blocks to figure out. Uh, let me go ahead and drop. So I've got some pumpkin seeds left over, some melon seeds left over. So if I need to replant or expand, I can replant or expand. I've got a bunch of decorative stuff for figuring out the outside later. Um... And that should just about do it. Uh, let me break up as much of that as I can and drop that in here for later. All right. That's not bad. I'll, I'll call that a mission accomplished. I, I've still got my access point here because I'm still thinking about getting a comparator signal out of here uh, and setting it up so that way once that hopper is full yeah so that way when that hopper is full it produces a redstone signal that locks all of these up uh, this is going to be a little bit more tricky because I can definitely get those guys and huh. the thing that um, the thing that keeps those guys separate is also what's going to make this more difficult unless oh no that's going to alright 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 all right, all right, all right. Now, now I'm just making life more complicated before I finished and quite frankly uh, I've got a, a much better running melon and pumpkin farm out of the last time. I still got to make it pretty, but that will, that will come later. That will come later. In, oh, in the meantime. Here, let me grab that. Let me grab those guys and, oh. I know what I need. I'm going to need a crafting bench because of, at a minimum, the melons. Let's, um, uh, for a split second, I was worried my Minecraft character was going to go chomp on that melon like uh, somebody likes to dig into him with a spoon. How are you doing? I'll take those, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll take those. Oh, I thought I was going to get more. <laughs> Uh, I'll save those in there for later trading. That is why I put those barrels in there. And I think this is the part where, um, where I'm going to go find somebody to raid. But first, uh, let me go, let me go put some stuff away. No, actually I should probably be doing that off screen. Come on now. Three, four. We'll see which one I end up needing more. Yeah, because I can work on all. I can I can work on putting stuff away until uh until I get stuff put away. So, uh, probably between now and the next go round, I will work on expanding that out a little bit wider, and by then I should be able to collect a little more dirt to go taller too. And maybe make the final thing at least as tall as the crop farm next to it. I still need to figure out uh, decoration for both the crop farm and the melon pumpkin farm now. I'm going to try to keep them a little consistent and maybe, not maybe, I'm going to move uh, that guy uh, to a different location. So in the same basic area, but not right next to the building. That, that's turning out to be a bit, a bit much. Uh, 
I'm also going to work on probably off camera getting this locking unlocking system squared away. I mean, in the meantime, I've still got the the manual lever. So when I get to smelting some stuff and I, I did uh I did yeah, I did run these guys through. And unfortunately, this did not turn off the way I thought. Yeah, none, none of this worked the way I thought it would. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to rethink that because I, I went and went ahead and burned through enough. Uh, so this side would be out in the hopes that it would help me figure out what I needed to do for the other side. But all right. Problems and such. All right, let me go over to the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, I do Coffee Craft every Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. It's either going to be next week or the week after. I do not remember which. I've got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so I may be starting late. I will not skip Coffee Craft, though. It just might be late, so keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye on Twitter for that. Uh, at Nanon Jr. on Twitter. There should be a link in the description below here and on YouTube if you're watching this later. On Fridays, uh, up until relatively recently, I was doing Games Revisited, but my life has been all sorts of up in the air, so Games Revisited has been on a bit of a hiatus, and I hope this Friday I can get things back on track, finish up The Legend of Zelda, and I, I'm... I was thinking of doing uh, Soldier of Fortune, an old PC game next, uh, but I might end up actually doing the first of the Witcher games. I don't know. Now, now that season two of the Witcher is getting ready to come out, that's, that seems like a good fun place to dive into the lore a little bit and uh, relive the, at least the first game and, and go from there. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about that. But first, I gotta finish up Zelda 2. And I do want to. I hate that there's been that big a break, but ah, that, that's another chat for another day. Let's go raid Beast Lord, who's playing Monster Hunter World. So, if you haven't already, do give him a follow when you hop on over there. I'm gonna hit the title screen, hit raid, stick around, and we'll go say hello to Beast Lord. Have fun.